down. They've got Garcia in the backfield. Pro throw at the H. They're going to pitch it to Garcia. Here comes the roof. Bartlett's there, but nobody else is there for the Vikings. And they'll get the first down with Lewis breaking tackles down to the 14. So Bartlett did his job, Mike, but he needed help. Well, it was a pitch reverse play as they got all the flow going to the right side or their left side, the Vikings' right side, and then on the reverse, big running room and a first down. So Lewis comes up with a big play. He had a couple of them against Portland in 10. Here's the quarterback dropping the pass. Got Garcia wide open in the end zone, and he's got the touchdown. Garcia got behind the Viking safety that time, Foreman, and it was an easy play even into the win. Well, fake handoff to Garcia at the line, and it looks like they're going triple option until Graves steps back. Garcia runs through the line. Tyler Foreman bites on the run, getting outside on the pitch and making big gains. Second and goal from the seven yard line. Here's the quarterback fake, the Vikings trying to get pressure on, throwing to the back of the end zone, man wide open, makes the catch for a touchdown as it was an easy grab for Koski in the corner of the end zone as the Vikings got beat badly on the play and it is quickly 12 to nothing Cal Poly with 5.05 to go in the first quarter of play. Graves sprints out to the right. Vikings pursue, but can't get Viking defense trying to come up with a big play. The best thing you can do against this team is find a way to knock it loose. Davis is in the backfield. Graves will pitch it back, and it'll go to Garcia. And they're going to call it a touchdown on the play. He kind of lollygagged it into the end zone, and Bodine made him pay for it, but the... Pylon did get knocked down, so probably is the correct call. Yeah, we'll take a look at the replay. I think he did get it. You're right, Tom. He kind of slowed down, and Bodine, it was actually bounces two out of two, trying to make it three in a row from the 44. Pitch it to Garcia wide. Now they're going to pass it back to the quarterback over the top, and he's got the catch. Graves down the near sideline. Graves high-stepping his way. Now cuts back to the middle, and he'll be brought down at the 15. So they go trickery. I knew it was coming at some time with the clock situation. And they come back to Graves. Bartlett was there to make the stop. And the trick play, we saw the Vikings run that earlier this year. Pitch play and then throw it back over the top. We saw the Vikings do it. Craft to Caressa and almost the same amount. Offense to make a play that will make it a two-score lead or the defense to make a big play that will make that touchdown even more difficult. Pro throws in the backfield. He gets the handoff. He's got too much running room, and he'll power into the end zone. Touchdown. Twenty-six to fourteen, Cal Poly. Twenty-three seconds to go in the half, so they convert on the fourth down. They're three out of three on fourth downs, and that was the most running room that they've given Pro Throw on the day. Just a classic Cal Poly on the line. It's just a completely different approach. Yeah, they, they need those guys that can pull and, and make a block on the wide side of the field. Graves to throw. Got a man wide open. Going to throw it to him, and Schmelzer's going to walk into the end zone, making McMurtry for the touchdown. So their third touchdown pass of the game. And the Vikings never had anybody that was in any coverage on the play. Yeah, McMurtry, a crossing pattern. He loses it looks like he loses the safeties. He goes across the middle of the field. The yard line, and he needed it to 12 for the first down. Lewis goes in motion. He'll take the pitch to the outside. He's got good running room. He's got a touchdown. Yeah, they get the block. Corey Garcia, not only is he the top rusher in this game, but he gets the key block there as he seals off the nickelback, Bo Duranslet, and that opens the lane down the sideline. Tell you what, these running backs and receivers, they can block as well. Yeah, they all have good size. Lewis is 210. Going puts you in a second down and five again. Here comes the second and five play. They go to pro throw again, and he's got big yardage for a first down, breaks a tackle, and then waltz into the end zone for a touchdown. 31 yards. The Vikings tried to just shoulder him to the ground, and you can't do that at 221 pounds. 
and he scores it to make it 47-28. So strong, and again, Tom, you said it, doing a great job of just wearing down the Viking defense. Cal Poly has run 69 plays already in this football game. Pro throw in the backfield, taking a lot of time off the play clock. Now the pitch comes wide. Portland State trying to get there, and they won't get there, and slipping down the sideline, and going to go all the way is Kyle Lewis for a touchdown. Lewis on a third and six takes it 71 yards for a touchdown. It looked like the Vikings were going to get there as they had a lot of players in close quarters. We look at the replay. Boy, they strung that play out pretty wide. Corey Garcia, big block in front of the play, and that made the room that Kyle Lewis needed for not the only touchdown. A, not only a block. So the Viking offense hasn't really lacked for much. Caressa drops to throw, three-man rush. Sets it up, trying to get a pass down. It's going to be picked off on the play. That time he forced it into coverage, trying to get it to Talmapea down the far side. And the defensive back was with him all the way. And he can't really fault the quarterback. Nard made the interception. You're down by 20. And he just left that one a little short. And yeah. Nard turned right at the right moment to come up with a pick. A little more air under that ball, and it would have been a chance. But, yeah, you're right, Tom. Slightly underthrown. Throw that a little deeper. Talmopea with his size can probably go up and try to make a play on it. But 